So viral shedding just means when the virus replicates in our bodies, uh, it, and it enters different kinds of cells and replicates and then exits those cells. And in the case of the coronavirus, a lot of the places where a lot of replication goes on and where a lot of the virus leaving cells occurs is in the cells that line our nasal and, and throat cavities and find their way into our nasal secretions and our saliva. And uh, once they're shed into those uh, fluids, the mucus type fluids that are always present, uh, then when we cough or sneeze or when we touch those uh, fluids by touching our mouth or our nose, then we, uh, we contaminate our hands or we cough or sneeze out the virus into the air in very small droplets. And those droplets, of course, can infect people directly who are, who are nearby within around three to six feet. Uh, and then when we contaminate our hands, of course, that virus can last for hours, even a few days. So if we touch a doorknob or a computer keyboard or anything else that's touched by other people, we can leave the virus behind if we're infected and other people can come along, uh, pick up that virus from these kind of surfaces. And then if they touch their uh, mouth or their nose or their eyes, parts of the body with mucous membranes, they can become infected uh, indirectly through those contaminated surfaces. This is why there's, there's so much emphasis on uh, hand washing or using hand sanitizers if you're not able to wash your hands frequently, and then avoiding touching your face because uh, if you are infected uh, but you're not coughing or sneezing and you're not touching your face, you will not transmit the virus to other people. If you're not infected, even if you touch a contaminated surface, uh, where virus has been left behind by an infected person, uh, if you don't touch your mucous membranes uh, with your hands, you won't infect yourself if you wash your hands frequently and use sanitizer to kill that virus periodically. The other important thing for people to know is that um, just because a person uh, you're working near, or you're spending time near, uh, looks completely healthy, says they don't have any symptoms of coronavirus infection, they can already be shedding virus. We know that people, before they develop symptoms, at least sometimes, if not frequently, do shed virus from those same locations. And, and a lot of the transmission, some of the early studies being published now indicates a lot of the transmission is occurring from asymptomatic people. Uh, there are probably a few people who never develop symptoms, but a lot of people are probably shedding virus before they start coughing, developing a fever, feeling those body aches that would tell them they may be infected. So what we have to, uh, to do when we think about our risk is think along the lines that anybody could be infected and shedding virus, even if they don't feel sick, even if they're not coughing or sneezing. We have to assume that everyone is infected and take the same precautions.